Yeah. Once again, I'd like to thank everybody for coming out. I'd like to thank uh, Pat Williams, no relation, the owner of this bar, for letting us hold this thing. She's right over there. The reason I wanted to do a big one is because, for those of you who know, we do the little round tables at Reggie's house. We, we try to do them every month, but we can only fit 12 people in there. So I wanted to do a big one and get as many people as I can and interview as many people as I can. Like I said before, my goal is to interview every Detroit bass player. I don't care if you live in Detroit or Inkster, where we are right now, that's where I'm from, Inkster. Uh, Westland, that's where I live right now. Garden City, Flint, I don't care where you're from, we're trying to get an interview with every Detroit bass player in the surrounding areas. Even if you're in California and you want to interview, I can do you via Skype or any other uh, web chat service. So, uh, so we're going to start doing some quick interviews right quick. We're going to videotape them. We're going to keep them short today because there's so many people. Uh, just to let y'all know, some of the people that's in the house right now, we got the bass phenom, Mr. Brandon Rose. Sitting over there, the 16-year-old. We be playing all around the country and stuff. Or oh, 15 years old. We got uh, a couple of my students in here. I know I see Rob, I see Parker. He's not my student, but he makes bases and, and amplifiers. Parker Klein over here. We got another one of my students, Steve, over here. One of my friends, she's gonna play food later on. Uh, I see James Formay over there with the seven string. Carrie Lacey, uh, administrator with uh, Detroit Bass Players on Facebook. We also got Mr. Reggie Canty, who I can't do this without him. You know, that's, I, I always want to say sidekick, but he ain't my sidekick. <laughs> and then uh, I see Karen Brandy in the house. That's Lady Gaga bass player. And music director. He also plays for Neo. He plays for, uh, he played for Destiny's Child. And I'm going to be doing an interview with him shortly because I can't wait to see how he did that. Maybe I can get a job playing with one of these people. We also have in here uh, a special guest to me, uh, Mr. Craig Sconey is here. For, for those of you who don't know, a few years ago, Craig Sconey put together a, a, a site on Facebook called Detroit Bass Players. And for some reason, that's how we all here today from communicating on that. So thank you, Craig.
Thank you.